Welcome to the Lipper Technical Training Institute. My name's Chet Dillenbeck. Today we're going to be talking about the Sidewinder Tongue Jack from Lipper. We're going to go ahead, we're going to unbox this, we're going to install it on the unit that we already have prepped, then we're going to talk about care and maintenance and operation. Alright, so let's get this unboxed. What you'll notice with this, the first thing you'll notice is the tongue jack itself comes just as a bare unit. There's no bolts. You'll need to reuse the bolts that were on your tongue jack previously, and there's also no foot pad. So you'll need to reuse your existing foot pad. The other thing to notice on this is how this mounts. There's a, square, there's a notch on the triangle. That needs to face toward the front of the unit for installation. As far as tools that we need, Basically, there's a couple options. I'm going to be using an impact driver and an appropriate socket with an adapter, and I may need the extension, but you can use just a standard ratchet and appropriate socket. All right, so if you'll come with me, we'll go ahead and we'll get this installed. All right, so I've already got this unit prepped. I went ahead and removed the existing tongue jack. I do have it on jack stands for safety reasons. We're gonna go ahead and set this in here. Once again, making sure that the flat spot of that triangle is facing forward. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the pre-existing nuts on this. Sorry, bolts. So what we're gonna do is simply run these in, snug them down. You don't want to over tighten them because just like right there, I need to adjust that just a little bit so that the bolts align properly with the holes. Now that I have it installed, I have all the bolts threaded into position, I'm going to come back through and I'm going to tighten everything down. The last thing we need to do as far as installation is install the foot pad. So like I had said previously, I'm reusing the, pre the foot pad from the jack I had before. We simply align it, press the snapper pin through, and install the cotter pin. Now we're ready to talk about how to operate the tongue jack itself. All right, so now we're just going to simulate that we are hooked up to a tow vehicle. Um, I do have it on the jack stand, so it's safe to use. The first thing we're going to talk about is unhooking. All right, so first thing you need to do is go ahead, take the crank handle, turn it clockwise until you fully extend the tongue jack so that you're supporting the unit properly. So what you want to do is once you have the secure on the ground is then go ahead and disconnect all your safety chains, your seven way, lift it up until that unit is able to be pulled away. Once a unit is pulled away, you're good to go camping. You can adjust this up or down depending on which way you need it to get the unit level. So once we're finished camping and we're ready to leave, you can simply back the truck up to the unit itself use the tongue jack to raise or lower it so that you can back underneath. And then you're simply gonna use this to lower the ball or the hitch onto the ball itself and secure it properly. Then hook up your safety chains and your seven way plug. And then all we have to do to finish is just fully retract the tongue jack. So we'll turn this counterclockwise until the tongue jack is fully retracted and then we're good to travel. The last thing we need to talk about is care and maintenance of the tongue jack. All right, so it's really simple. All we need to do is keep this inner jack leg clean and free of dirt and debris and spray it down from time to time with some dry silicone lube. Other than that, get out there and enjoy your camper and thank you for joining us at the Lipper Technical Institute. Have a great day.